Prime News on HLN. I continue our conversation, and it is a difficult one about the brutal death of eight-year-old Robert Manuel. There he is, this little guy. Here's what the indictment alleges, that uh, his own mom and her live-in boyfriend tortured and beat this little guy to death. Uh, we're taking your calls. Lucy's with us in Michigan. Hi, Lucy. Your thoughts here? Hi. How are you? Hi, Lucy. You know, I'm from Michigan, and we just went through the uh, situation with a little girl that was missing here where the mother had a boyfriend living with her. It's the same kind of a situation. I don't know if you recall. Uh, just recently as well. Yes, yes. Well, you know, I don't understand what it is with women that bring these men into their homes when they're raising their children. Uh, you know, she shows her face on TV and knows that, that she had murdered this child. Mm. And the audacity of it just makes me sick to my stomach. But when are people going to learn that when they bring men in and, and men bring women in, that they're not always good for their children? Yeah, let's, uh, thanks, thanks for the call, Lucy. I can hear your passion, and I'm sure many of you have shared that. Uh, Don, where, you look at uh, his history, uh, talk about it, Daniel Ehrlich Jr., uh, off and on in jail, seven years, uh, battery, burglary, where is Child Protective Services? Uh, and especially when you throw in the fact that uh, she fractured the skull of her own nine-month-old, the mom. Exactly, exactly, Mike. Where is Child Protective Service? I mean, somebody had to see something. You know, we talk about protecting and looking out for our neighbors and our family and so forth. Where are the family members here also? Did they not complain? Did they not know what was going on? And what about the neighbors? I don't care what kind of community you live in. Somebody knows what's going on. And to let somebody be uh, hurting and harming kids in that way and you don't say anything about it is just absolutely wrong. Somebody has to stand up and say, no, we've got to put a stop to this. Let's get back to Greg Hahn, local news editor, Idaho Statesman. Are any neighbors talking, uh, talking about Melissa Jenkins' mom or Daniel Ehrlich Jr. as a caregiver for Robert or his brother? Well, absolutely. We talked to a lot of folks before the before the arrests were announced, and um, and and a lot of people had actually decent things to say about the boyfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, he he was a very he was at least visibly on the outwardly uh, a father that was that was interested in the, in the younger son. You know, they had this this baby, and it turns out he wasn't even he wasn't the biological father of that child either. Right. Um, but you know, went again went through the effort early on to become that, and in fact, when the baby was taken away from them. Uh, made sure that he was, you know, on the list, helped paying support while he was in the foster system. So, um, so he was sort of exhibiting some. She was strict. Depends on who you talk to, whether she was kind of strict or overly strict. But well, um, again, that's not the outward stuff. Yeah. Who knows what happens? In what's, Mike, what's so frightening in these cases, unfortunately, because I see him every day in the criminal justice arena is you can't usually predict that someone is going to be harming their child. So They put on a face, and the devil has a pretty face. You don't yeah. know what's going on inside the house. However, in this case, what's different is we've got that prior act of violence against our own child. And I say there's two types of people in this world, those who can harm their own child and those who cannot. Yeah. She was in category A, and that requires a greater scrutiny on our parenting skills. Real quick, let's go to the phone. Sharon's with us in Indiana. Sharon, your thoughts? Yeah, I actually have a couple of them. Um, hello, by the way. Hi. Um, I think it's absolutely disgusting when a woman who decides that this man is right for her plays victim. Yeah, and, and in the case of her own child, like she's innocent. Sharon, we, we got to run, but and, and uh, no, a mom, her own flesh and blood little boy dead, and she's going to hide the crime. More prime news coming up. Stay with us. Nice, nine, 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 nine,